Hey everybody, it's Steve and welcome to the 12 Days of Soul Care Storytelling Edition, Day 11. And today I would like to talk with you about The Hero's Journey from Christopher Vogler's book, The Writer's Journey, and a section in called Return with the Elixir. And in this section, we have some artwork. And here is a drawing of the hero. She is on her steed, and in her hands is a bottle, a jar of some kind of potion, perhaps some medicine for a sick loved one, perhaps the cure for her village, or something that will lift the curse. And this illustrates how storytelling is not only good for the soul, it's good for the listener's soul. So, I want to ask you to ponder where you've come from. Your backstory, your family of origin, as we've talked about. You were born at a particular time in a particular place. You had nothing to do with it. And yet it shaped you. And you met allies and adversaries. You had friends at school. Some were good friends, some were bullies. There were teachers, there were bosses. Some were good, some were bullies. But if you've survived childhood and youth and you're into young adulthood or farther along, you've got stories to tell. And for you to reflect on your story and at the right time and place, as you feel so inclined, share your story, your experiences, it's a gift to the world. It's good for your soul and it's good for ours. Think about how God has done that in scripture. He could have given us the Ten Commands in a straight propositional form, list them out and exposit them. Instead, he introduces us to a character, a hero, if you will, but an unlikely hero. He was a slave when he was born. His, his people were enslaved. And yet he, through a series of events, grows up in royalty, in luxury. Yet he sees his people suffer, so he tries to make a difference, and instead he makes a bad situation worse and lives on the run. And in the course of his lifetime has an encounter with God. This is transformational for him and for his people because Moses will come down from Mount Sinai with the Ten Commands. It wasn't just about his journey. It's not just about your journey. It's not just about the condition of your soul. It's the condition of all the souls of all the people God gives you to love and serve, to lead and guide. So, what's your story? Where have you come from? What have you learned? Have you, will you take the time to mull over your story, where you've come from, what you've learned along the way, and ask God to help remove some of the toxins from it, the bitterness of the pain of what happened to you, and heal you of that, and give you life-giving words and stories and takeaways to share with others. I know that some of you are hesitant and don't think that you have much to say. Some of you know you have something to say, but you're unsure about how to say it or how it would be received. It takes courage to tell your story. So I'd like to end with a section from a book that I just really love. It's a funky book, uh, but I do recommend it. It's called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And in this book, Stephen Pressfield really calls us out and calls us to, to share the stories within us and to summon the courage to do it. And in this climactic section called The Artist's Life, 
he really brings it home, and I'd like to read it to you. He asks, Are you a born writer? Were you put on earth to be a painter, a scientist, an apostle of peace? In the end, the question can only be answered by action. Do it or don't do it. It may help to think of it this way. If you were meant to cure cancer or write a symphony or crack cold fusion and you don't do it, you not only hurt yourself, even destroy yourself, you hurt your children. You hurt me. You hurt the planet. You shame the angels who watch over you, and you spite the Almighty who created you and only you with your unique gifts for the sole purpose of nudging the human race one millimeter farther along its path back to God. Creative work is not a selfish act or a bid for attention on the part of the actor. It's a gift to the world and every being in it. Don't cheat us of your contribution. Give us what you've got. Friends, storytelling is good for the soul. It's good for your soul. It's good for ours. I pray to God that he will give you the courage, give you the space to sit down perhaps with your journal and over the course of 2023, ponder what you've learned. Ponder what your story is all about. And at the right time and place, share it. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you in our final installment of the 12 Days of Soul Care Storytelling Edition. And we will see you on the flippity flop. Bye-bye.